two, one, go. 2906 unable to make it to the field, so it's going to be two robots in action for the Blue Alliance. 4918's autonomous shot up and long. Red Alliance, flurry of cargo, but only a couple able to find home. And when all's said and done, it's going to be 14 to 2 in favor of Red. Nineteen eighty three back here on the rear side of the field. Cargo in their possession looking to line up a shot, but it's twelve ninety four who gets theirs off first. And Pack of Hearts goes one for two in the upper hub, two points red. Here's the skunks, one and two solidly home. Matched by some lower hub scoring from Seabot, and the Red Alliance continues to extend their lead. Rob Octopi, 49-18, trying to take on the scoring load for the Blue Alliance, as 83-86 looking to be primarily in defensive position. But the Red Alliance score continues to score undaunted. It's 24-4 now in favor of Red, as we are under a minute and a half remaining in this match. 12-94-1983, each lining up. It's the Skunks who get their shots through first. Top pack of parts, one for two, as is the Rob Octopi. And things will continue to settle. It's 30 to six now with the Red Alliance in the lead. 83-86, the Iron Goats working on Seabot. Those two bots tangling near the red terminal. But that leaves space for our big scorers. Roboctopi one for two for the Blue Alliance. 1983, one for two for Red in the upper hub. And here comes Pack of Parts as the Iron Goats arrive just in time to knock that first shot off base and the second. Nice defensive effort from 83-86 to slow down the Red Alliance. Approaching our end game period and the Iron Goats find themselves pushed up against 1294 once again in the vicinity of the Red Hangar. They will try to get clear as that is now protected airspace in the final 30 seconds of the match and 83-86 in the wrong place at the wrong time. Our referee is taping very close eye on the situation over there. Meanwhile, the Roboctopi managed to put cargo in the upper hub for blue 1294 puts some in there for red. All three red robots now in the vicinity of the red hangar with the iron goat still caught in the wrong place. 4918 gets up onto the middle rung and as the buzzer sounds, we have some things to work out. Our referee is gonna convene and converse and we'll let you know what they decide in just a moment. Unfortunate turn of events for the Blue Alliance. 83-86 caught in the hangar at the end of the match. Three traversal climbs have been awarded to the Red Alliance for violations of rule G-208. And with all three robots awarded a traversal hang, the Red Alliance does take the victory. 79-16 to and achieves that third ranking point.